going on guys thanks for tuning back into the channel today we're going to shift gears here from our normal gto platform that we're working on and i'm going to talk to you guys about something that i really love which is motorcycles and today what i got for you here this is my 1958 bsa a10 imported from europe with a left hand sidecar now a couple of pretty cool things i wanted to point out about this motorcycle is number one this motorcycle has a sidecar which is placed on the left hand side of the vehicle and this bike was intended for road purposes in the United Kingdom where everything there is right hand drive and they drive on the left hand side of the road. So by placing the sidecar on the left hand side of the vehicle here you've essentially made the motorcycle a right hand drive vehicle. Another thing I want to point out is the gear shifter. So on modern day, typical modern day motorcycles, your gear shifter is on the left side of the motorcycle and the gear pattern is typically one down four up or five up however many gears that you have on this vehicle here we have the gear shifters placed on the right hand side of the vehicle and the shift pattern is backwards as in one up for first gear from neutral two three and four is down this is a four speed manual transmission another pretty interesting thing on this motorcycle is that the front tire as you can see in this picture here is squared and that's because the sidecar here is solid mounted there is no flex points and the way that you steer this motorcycle is you cannot lean the motorcycle so as you're going down the road you actually need to turn the front wheel and that requires you to have a squared front tire this piece here is to loosen or tighten the bearings in the stem for the forks here as you go down the road as you increase speed the handlebars kind of want to wobble and as you ride you have to tighten these down stiffening it up to keep the bike going straight and then kind of when you're around town cruising at slower speeds you would loosen it back up to give you easier mobility of turning the handlebars at a slower speed and while we're up here on the dash we'll go ahead and point out a few things this here controls your running lights and then your headlights so the running lights would just turn on your light inside of your speedometer and your amp meter and there's a small bulb below the headlight that comes on it's a six volt motorcycle this would turn on your headlights this switch over here would be your high beam low beam this is for your horn of course standard clutch front brake this is for your choke and this button here can controls your ignition so this bike doesn't have to run off of electrics it can run without any electrics because it's a points ignition so when you pull up there is no key to shut the bike off you'd simply press that to kill the ignition and that's how you would shut the bike off and what's the one thing more bizarre than the motorcycle is the sidecar upon opening the door of the sidecar you'll notice it has a front seat and a back seat so the idea for these was back in the day in England, a young man would buy himself a motorcycle and that was his main means of transportation. And when he got married, his wife could ride on the back, but then when they had a kid, he would attach a sidecar and his child would ride in the back and his wife would ride in the front. So that's really where these came from with the fully enclosed two-person sidecar. The sidecar has a soft leather top. You can do with buttons and open it up, allowing you access inside the cabin if you want that fresh air and you, what you would do is you would roll it up and pin it back and that's how the soft top rolls up you just have these simple tabs here that hold it down and when you're not using those they tab in right here so as i mentioned earlier these sidecars were originally intended for like a wife and a small child and i'm sure you're still thinking even then how could two people possibly fit into this sidecar well although it might be a little cramped i can fit in there and i'm six foot four and to show you that I can do it, I'm going to go ahead and climb into the back seat now and show you that right now. So you'd start by removing the lower seat cushion to the front seat and just placing it off to the side. And then the front seat would fold down. And to gain even further access to the rear to make it easier, the front seat can fold up. Now because of my size, what I do is I just sit down here and I just slide into the rear. And from here, I can even lower the seat and pull the front seat back up. I fit all the way back here. Now, I might not want to be back here for hours, but I can fit back here. And especially with the top open, my head pokes out of the top, it's no problem. Now, the front seat's a little bit harder to get into. And because I am 6'4", I pull the top open, but even I can still get into the front seat. You would just start out by putting one leg in to begin with. Sit down, slide my head in, 
Then I kind of pull my knee to my chest and work my other foot in. And boom, I'm in the sidecar. So the last thing I'm gonna go over is how to start this bike because it is a little different than other carburetor bikes. You would just start by turning the fuel on and then you go to the top of the carburetor and then there's this piece here called the tickler and you would just keep priming that until fuel actually comes out. And you see that little bit of fuel come out. So once that fuel comes out, the carburetor is primed. You just make sure the bike is in neutral, which I've already verified. And just give it a kick. take my dog on a ride with me. So let's go for a little cruise around the block and put diesel in the back seat and my wife in the front. So the last thing I wanted to show you guys about this bike, just because I thought it was really cool, was the last place I lived was in the United Kingdom, and I made a really good friend there named Tony. And when I left, he made me a go on away gift. It's an exact replica of the bike, and I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that now. And I mean, this thing is perfect. This is all handmade by my friend excellent craftsmanship i mean this thing came out absolutely amazing and uh, i just wanted to share that with you guys because i thought it was super cool so, so thanks for tuning back in and checking out this walk around tour of my 1958 bsa a10 golden flash for the left hand two person fully enclosed sidecar i hope you guys like it Tell me in the comments below what you thought about this content. As always, thanks for tuning into the channel. Go ahead and subscribe to the channels and hit the little bell so you know when I post more content. Until the next time, stay safe, God bless you, and have a great day.